curses. I was so close. It weren't for those damn brats. So be it, I'll just sneak into the next branch's party. Not if I have something to say about it. Bum, bum. You're the white cat. What is the meaning of this? Uh, the, the, uh, Azure King, too. I'm thinking because he's blue. Dubba dee dubba die. Why in God's name are the monstrums here? What is it you could possibly want with me? You'd have nothing to be scared of if you had nothing to hide. You just spiked the wine at the party, didn't you? Was it poison? Hmm, rather sumptuous of you to brand me a murderer. It was merely a laxative, enough to give you the runs in spades. I figured an instant that Vial would have taken Pendleton's reputation down the drain with it. Wait, what? So you weren't after the Roman merchant then? My company had dealt in parchment for many a generation. We often did business with Pendleton prior to the war. Once Baldu became a Roman territory eight years ago, everything changed. I was told one day that our partnership was over, not so much as a hint of warning. Pendleton had found himself a more favorable vendor, a leading corporation from Rome. Oh. But our most prominent client. It was only a matter of time before we closed our doors. Pendleton threw us, no, clear itself aside. And for what? To currently favor with our captors. While Pendleton toasted its success on the banks of its transgressions. I would rest until they know the pain of each and every store they've forsaken. Then will you finally be satisfied? Well... Hm, of course I will. What more could I possibly want? Oh... Corduroy... How low you've fallen. Ah... Michelle Pendleton, and Miss Carla as well. A pleasure to see you again. It would seem the Monstrums have spared us a fair bit of injury. Indeed. I have my questions, but they'll have to wait for now. You appear to have misunderstood one crucial detail in your story, Corduroy. I judge a product's worth not in its original prestige, but in its quality. In that sense, the Roman product excelled. It is as simple as that. So you're saying our work was inferior to the Romans? Is that it? The parchment you handled was durable and smooth, to be sure. But the world of business continues to evolve with every waking moment. Each time bringing forth better products, wider distributions, and greater profits. As you continue to stagnate after the war, I had no choice but to leave you behind. Uh, how could you say that? What right does that give you to discard us like refuse after so many years of business? Was all of this really worth it? If it cost you your heart? Mr. Corduroy. Gains are made by taking losses. That is the creed of the Pendleton Company. The world of business is not one for clemency, much less the soft of heart. As such, the hatred and retributions of those I have cast off are my burdens to bear. The most I can do is strive for my best with every last bit of my heart and soul. I would have liked nothing more than for you to have done the same. To have conducted yourself not as a fool, but as a merchant. Ah, <sighs> Arthur. Stop right there, you violated the law. We've got you now. Sabotage and masquerade on our watch, will ya? Wait, the monstrums are here too? Bye. There they go. Yeah, I guess that's that. Mr. Pedersen, Miss Carla? We're here in response to your report. So I see. And once again, you've allowed the monstrums to slip away. Gains are made by taking losses. Arthur practically raised us on that. It's bold and forward thinking was the only reason we stood a chance abroad. And the only reason Pendleton was able to bridge the market to Rome at that. Considering Glea's future at the time, it was a necessary step without question. I know that puts him in the right, but still I... 
You are on your own path now. You're right. And it's up to me to decide how to take it. I'm going to show this world just how much a flottist can do. Like giving my father and Connor a good run for their money for one. Hm. So anyway, should we get back to the masquerade? Someone might get suspicious if we suddenly leave after all this. So we have no choice but to enjoy ourselves until it's over. Adol and Krisha slipped in among the frazzled masquerade guests soon after. On Rishay and Carla's return, the event continued without incident. From there, Adol and Krisha had their fill of the lavish world of the upper class. After getting in some much-needed relaxation, then they met up with their comrades once again. I'm just happy we could help. Oh? I was going to say, like, can I keep the mask? I'm not going to wear it. Yeah. I just want it. You know, like, keep it. It's a lovely mask. It's a lovely mask. Now, I have seen around here somewhere one of the petals that I haven't picked up yet, which is here. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I can't <laughs> get any it. of the petals at this point. I can only get 10 to 16, and I'm assuming that this is actually. Oh. I thought that was going to be part of the same section, but there's some over here I can't get at yet. It's like. There's like a wall around this bit, but also there, there's a wall, like, blocking me, a barrier, blocking me from actually proceeding, and there's going to be clearly some more petals around here that I just, I just can't get to. So, let us actually continue what we're doing here, so I can actually, you know, continue. Though I do want to uncover the map a little bit while we're here. But the percentage is important. Probably people wouldn't... We're thinking I wouldn't go off and get that quest, though. Like, of course I'm going to get that quest. Of course! Cultural Heritage Site. Hello? Odin, maybe? Or the equivalent of Odin? Bet this place feels just like home to an adventurer like you, huh, Adol? Pfft, <laughs> what a loon. It's not that weird. The place houses a lot of surviving ruins from the Hundred Years' War. There's the Victory Day Memorial, the statue of Saint Rose Vita. I'll have a look at that. Even some sculptures of Glia's old gods, from way before the war even happened. This place is amazing. <laughs> she does know a lot, though. I thought you might say that. You're just about everything Dogi said you would be. Incidentally, Adol, do you remember what Park said? Of course I do. Yeah. Yeah. Rumor has it a ghost has been chasing tourists out of the heritage site. Oh, Dub, you don't seriously plan for us to play ghost hunter here, do you? Well, hallo has got plenty he wants to see here anyway, right? Besides, I'm pretty keen on checking out this rumor myself. Guess we don't have a choice. <sighs> hey, where'd all the excitement from earlier go, huh? Look. The whole thing has got Elle and the other neighborhood kids all spooked. I'll just sit back and do nothing about it. In that case, I shall assist as well. Me too. Let's get this little investigation tour going. Indeed, I just want to look around. Hello. Preposterous. It was just my imagination. Nope, that was a primordial. I will not be dissuaded by mere hearsay. Hey, you five! Oh, hello there, Miss Government Official. Is there something we can help you with? I am searching for a fugitive who goes by the name of Adol Kristen. Oh, I so wish I had that sign on me right now. He is a red-haired drifter. Have you seen him? Even the most trivial detail will be beneficial. She's still looking for you? Let me do the talking, okay? No, I am so sorry, but nothing comes to mind. I do have something that might interest you, though. There's rumors of a ghost around here. A ghost? Well, I was suddenly assigned to investigate this matter by the knights. I was going to say, aren't you the paranormal investigator, therefore ghosts should be a thing you're interested in? But I haven't seen any ghosts at all. No, sir. And I definitely haven't seen a shadow ghost. She's really not what you'd expect her to be, based on how she was in the interrogation. Shadow 
ghost? Okay, listen. It was just an illusion manifested by that scoundrel Adol Kristen. Damn him. Or, 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 or maybe, maybe it was a trick devised by those miscreants, those monstrums. It very much feels like she's coming to this being like, none of these things actually exist. This is nonsense. You're all fooling. Oh, wait, what? They exist? What? Oh, God, no. What? If they exist, then what? What? The nerve of them to show me something so very obviously non-existent as a ghost. This is that blasted Shadow Lord's doing. How dare he give me such an absurd assignment? <laughs> you sure you're all right there, lady? You look like you've really seen a ghost. I really like this character. You at all, Kristen? I'm gonna get you for this! That was like, what did I do? Good God. Is she always like that? I hope so, she's hilarious. Poor Adol. You get blamed for everything. That is kind of weird. Considering like this is meant to be a story. He wrote, I think? What, what, what's, what's the lore on that? Like, he, he wrote it and this is actually like just us hearing his stories and stuff like that. No, I, I can't remember like the, the exact yeah. way that's described. If anybody knows exactly how that's described, it's like, is it a book someone's reading or something like that in the future? Or is it us reading it in the future? Yeah. Something like that. Uh, something like that. I, I know it's it's all in the past. I know that much all these things have wow, happened in this world. Chest. Hmm, there's a yellow thing here. Yeah. <laughs> Another spot for renegade, I imagine. I want to get the I want to get the things around the place. Wow, oh, the blocked chest. off still. Hmm. So it feels like this area over here is gonna be still blocked off the bit that I need to get some more petals. Huh. Oh, hello. I should read them really. Huh. They should they should be yeah. relevant. Huh. Oh no, I was almost there. Huh. You. Wait for it to refill. A treasure chest. Because I need, I need over there. Look, you can see this petal there. I can see it. I see two. I see four petals. And how do, how many do I need? Six. No, oh, I was gonna say. Well, there they all are. Like, no, I see. Potentially that one's for this bit. I don't know where the line is on this map, but I do see you ones over there. Yeah. This thing is like, yeah, this is good for finding where they are. We still need to be looking in the right direction. This statue's from a long time ago, isn't it? That's right. Before the rise of the hieroglyph faith, the Gleans worshipped. Um, what was his name again? Grimnir, King of the Gods. Grimnir? Oh, hello! Oh, you're... There were actually two chief gods according to Norse scripture. wonder if it is actually the same kid we met earlier or it's just a reused model. I'm hoping it's the kid we saw earlier. Grimnir, King of the Gods and Luki the Entangler. Hmm... The fact there's going to be a Loki character, that's intriguing. It's believed that the world was created by the never-ending feud between the two. Huh. You sure know your stuff, kid. But if those gods existed, how did the hieroglyph faith end up taking over? Yeah, I mean... More for the teachings of the church and everything, but still. At the time, it was said the gods' final clash would bring about the end of the world. I'd say Ragnarok, but it's probably got some other name in this. It's theorized that some people converted to Hiroka faith to avoid that fate. Really, that seems unfair somehow. Well, the Norse gods were well feared, considering how much power they wielded. But another theory states that the hieroglyph faith was utilized to subjugate the nation. Out of the two, I'd say the latter is closer to the truth. So people ended up using religion for their own convenience then. Yeah. Still happens. Perhaps the gods themselves were created for the convenience of man. If so, 
It only follows that they change by those very same whims. <laughs> I bet the bishop's back in town. I'd have a hell of a time hearing this. Hmm, it's about time for my medicine. If you'd excuse me, I'll just be on my... Wait just a sec. Rumors of a ghost showing up around here. Do you know anything about that? A ghost? Yeah, that's what we came here to investigate. Is that right? Sorry, but I don't think I can help with whatever it is you're looking for. Uh, oh, I see. I'll be taking my leave now. Sure thing. Thanks for the history lesson. I mean, the crosses on the back of the chair look familiar. I believe I've seen that boy before. Yeah, I've noticed him around town too. Okay, so it is... If it's going to be a significant character, they wouldn't reuse the model, I feel. So it's like, yeah, every time we've seen the kid in the wheelchair, I assume, based on what they're saying here, it's the same kid. So we saw him at the amphitheater first, I believe. And then he was part of the quest. It's kind of easy to recognize what with his wheelchair and all. Yeah, the fact they're highlighting it again and again and again, it's like they wouldn't reuse the model, I don't think. Poor kid. Must be some sort of condition. Huh? What's that? Some sort of notebook? Maybe that boy dropped it on his way out? Nails in the coffin. Shouldn't by hand on the cover. Nails in the coffin? Doesn't sound like a pleasant read. Hmm. We shouldn't look without asking. Hmm. Oh yeah, but there's no name written on it or anything. I don't know if it's his if we don't check inside, right? Yeah, but just the first bit. Yufa began to flip through the notebook. Huh? What the? It appears to be an itemized list, page after page. Fish in Law River. For an entire day. Read 2,000 of Grandpa's leftover books. Eat so much royal rain pudding that my stomach nearly burst. What is this? Hmm, honestly, I'm not really sure. It's a diary, surely. It kind of looks like a to-do list, maybe. And the crossed out items are presumably those which he has already achieved. Oh. Looks like he's already done a great deal of these, then. All that's left is... Studying Norse ruins outside Belduke. Work hard so the ones looking after me can live in peace. Bring back that deadbeat so I can thank him properly. Deadbeat? Who, who do you think that's about? Oh, there's a name written in here. Jules Noah. Hmm, it says. Noah? Is that the name of the famous doctor or whatever? Oh, that's right. I think the Noahs live somewhere in the Noble District. Uh, let's deliver it to him. Alright, now you're talking. So house should be on our way back. We could deliver it to him right away. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah. There's still a few things around I want to look at, though. Yeah. Wondering if I could run up that, but clearly not. Yeah. Let's get up this tower here. Hello. Off we go. That's the kind of thing I was after right now, so... Item acquired. That's going to be the Agricultural District. Right, so where were... That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. You're down there, but I can't get to you. Did I get it? I think I got it, didn't I? Um, so three or four. Where's... Where, 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 where's, where's number... There. I may as well get them all while we can. I think I can hand him more. Yeah. Got it. Right, so that should be it. I keep doing that. Keep doing that, still wrong. Okay, so in this area, yeah, two or three in the treasures. I don't feel like I can get the third treasure just yet, but we are two or three, two or three, four or four on the petals, which I think if I hand in the petals now, that should be another set of. 
one's handed in for me. She keeps saying weird things. Weird lines, this girl here. Some of them feel very familiar. Mm-hmm. Did you bring me some petals? I mean, the voice sounds very familiar as well. You've made me one happy girl. Makes 90 petals so far. Now that's a lot of serendipity. I've just got to thank you. Lovely. More as your petals. How many do Wow, you found so many. 100 petals. I've just got to... <laughs> but seriously, who'd have thought you'd end up finding a hundred of these? Whatever fortune and joy these bring is gonna be one heck of a doozy. But so long as humanity exists, the proliferation of animity will never cease. Still, I have shall continue to watch over you as I have, no matter what it is you decide. Wait, what, uh, what am I saying? Sorry. I didn't mean to get so foreboding there. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know what's gotten into me, but uh, setting that aside, don't think this marks the end of our little petal collecting spree. If you find any new ones, you know where to bring them. How many? You've made me. 110. For your troubles. Apple pie. There's nothing. As British as an apple pie. If you find any more azure petals, you know where to bring them. Because apparently it was invented in Britain, by the way. An apple pie. Wait, there's a question mark up there. Why have I not got that question mark? I'm intrigued by that question mark. That feels new. Hmm. around the ground by the wall revealed some cold coins and a tattered scrap of paper. Seems to be something written on it. Whether your deeds are wicked or pure, every achievement starts with a single step. After that, it's up to you to keep walking. I leave those words in the hands of whoever managed to outwit this old thieving fox. It ain't much, sure, but a legacy's worth more than its weight in gold. Oh. So it's gonna be one of the graffiti things, isn't it? No! No! Oh, fine. Right, so we've got the red exclamation over there. Hmm. There's something I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, I did. My suspicions, by the way, on that girl. If you aren't piecing together my suspicions all over the place at the moment. It's like... Donna? Are you trying to get in contact with us? Through some kind of spirit medium? That's what I'm suspecting there, mainly because of the voice. I'm honest, it's, it's mainly because of the voice. Alright, so noble distray. Yeah, another question mark there, but I can't get the one. I know that one. Well, I'm back for now. I want to see what you say. Visiting the Noah residence. will advance the story. It is recommended that you prepare your equipment beforehand. Go back for now. Let's, let's see about that. That's probably wise. This is why it's like, yeah, let me read it. It might be important. Like that. Enhancing weapons. Very important. Also want to see if there's actually any quests that have opened up. Because, you know, I'm being very, very twitchy with it at the moment. No quests available. Don't see any in here. Have I handed in landmarks? And the graffiti. Landmarks are outside. But... No, there's nothing there. Okay, parks. Let's see about you and the map. Hello there. Let's have a look, see. It doesn't seem too different. All right, then. Very suspicious, by the way, of parks these days because of the interactions between these three. It's like that these two have a back and forth. Like Margot and Parks here have a back and forth, and Iris seems to be unaware of what's going on at the end of it. She's like, well, what are you two talking about? So my suspicions are one of them is who she's trying to assassinate. What, one, of, one of them, what was it, Lindheim? One of them is Lindheim, that's what I'm suspecting. Which one? I don't know, they're both from the prison, so... They say Lindheim's a guy, I think, but that could just be a ruse. It could, it could just be all a part of a deception, it, it, I don't know. So that's my suspicion there with those two. Need more interactions to finalise it. 
If I was gonna guess between the two, I'd probably fall on Parks, to be honest. Probably fall on Parks. Visiting the Noah residence will advance the story. Hello? Anyone home? Yeah, I mean, we went back to the Dandelion so I could check my equipment. Then I got there, spoke, and came back. Whoops. I'm coming! Just a moment! Should be alright. Oh, what am I thinking? Of course he's not here. Huh? Oh, I beg your pardon, sweetie. Who did you say you were again? We're here to see if Jules is home. Oh my! Are you friends of Jules? I'm Jules' mother, Pamela. It's a pleasure to meet any friend of Jules. Please, do come in! Oh, actually, we were... Oh, I insist. You really must come inside. I will not allow any of Jules's friends to stand outside like strangers. Well, you heard the lady. She's too welcoming. It's worrying. Jules, your friends are here! My friends? Oh, it's you. Imagine my delight when I met all of your wonderful friends. Don't mind me. I'll just be over here preparing a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. Uh, oh, y you don't have to, ma'am. Don't bother. Why is that? She's always like this with guests. There's no talking her out of it. I'd appreciate it if you'd humor her by sticking around for a while. Sure, we don't mind. Why not? Might as well. Thanks. So, what did you want to see me for? You hand Jules the notebook he dropped. My notebook? You came just to give this to me? Sorry for the trouble. But I guess we're even since you peeked inside. It wasn't me. Well, someone must have. It's her! Have it there! She's the culprit! She's the one you want! I had a small slip of paper in it so I could tell if it was open. And it seems to be missing. <sighs> and it looks like the answer to the mystery is written on her face. Uh, that's a pretty nifty trick. For a kid, maybe. You had good intentions. So I'll let you off the hook this time. Me, Jules. What? You're the renegade, aren't you? Wait, what? Impossible! If only there was some kind of obvious sign on the back of his chair. I, I suspected he was too. <laughs> hmm. And what makes you think that? Again, your chair. I thought I recognized your voice from somewhere. And how many boys your age speak the way you do? It wasn't my intention to mislead. Not like what the white cat was doing. And I'm certainly not going as far as hiding my real identity like the Crimson King. Who's the Crimson King? A swift confession. <sighs> Maybe I should have thought twice about speaking to you at the Cultural Heritage Site. I knew you'd all find out eventually. But it's not any less troublesome. Oh, really now? You haven't seen troublesome till I've asked you all my questions. Hope you're ready. First question. What's that wheelchair for? What? What? This? I was never able to stand on my legs. Really? Uh, no kidding. Are you ill? Mm, something like that. I've had a weak constitution ever since I was young. I'm sure this is going to be your next question. So I'll just answer it for you. This is about your parents. Are you adopted? Nobody knows what my disease is. Oh. They said it was incurable. Even the top doctors in Balduke gave up on finding a cure. As time goes on, my body gets weaker. I'm told I'll be lucky to live to 20. Are you serious? Unfortunately, joking isn't one of my strong suits. 
All I know is that when I become the Renegade, I can move my body again. I have a Prillis to thank for that. Uh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were going through something so terrible. If you don't mind, I have a request for you all. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Just treat me like you treat anybody else. I'm tired of people walking on eggshells around me just because I'm sick. Hmm. I don't blame you. Uh, uh. But don't get me wrong. I assure you that it's not like I've abandoned my will to live. But after being frustrated with my body for so long, I've accepted it. Accepted what? Accepted that at my age, every breath could be my last. And that I should live and die in my own body, on my own terms. To that end, I wish to leave this world without any regrets. That's all there is to it. Jules. Then that nails in the coffin notebook we found. That's right. It's my bucket list. The name was to remind myself that I need to finish it before I go six under. I want to do everything I can to help. I'm sure you do. But I have to respectfully decline. Yeah, I thought you would. Otherwise, I'd just be using my disease as an excuse to get people to do things for me. I'd like to do it on my own, so you can just leave me be. Ow. Uh, if that's what you want. But we're friends, aren't we? That's right. Maybe not by choice at first, but adol has got a point, you know? If you think of anything we can help with, you know where to find us, okay? I doubt I will, but I'll keep that in mind. By the way, that ghost at the cultural heritage site you've been looking for? That's me. You were the ghost? More and more people have been desecrating those ruins lately, so I used my gift to scare them off. That official claimed she was investigating but she was only adding to the damage. I have a hunch she learned her lesson. 